Welcome to episode number 41 of turning $100 into $1 million, a series where I risk a whopping $100 of my money in an attempt for your entertainment to turn it into $1 million. We do have a couple things to cover here in this episode, but first, we cannot ignore the elephant in the room, which is definitely going to be the Dow today. The Dow closed over 29,000, exactly 29,100 and a half there today, and this was record-breaking because it was the first time in six months that it closed over 29,000, and it was the best day since mid-July, and the S&P 500 also followed suit and closed at another record high. Unthinkable, inconceivable during a pandemic, and market-wise, financially, it almost looks like a short-lived recession, and you can even call it a depression. Insane, but that is the market for today, and that's what it is. Now, many people are wondering if this could point to Trump's re-election or if it's actually pointing to a Biden victory. The stock market tends to be a strong indicator of the 2020 election. And so there's analysis saying that it's rallying because of the quote-unquote blue or Democratic stocks that favor Democratic policies or are more progressive companies. And then there's, of course, the evidence that the stock market is rallying, Trump's the incumbent, and when the incumbent sees a rallying, soaring market like this leading right up to the election, that could mean a decisive victory. So which way do you think it's going? And tell me down below in the comments, maybe it's not the person that you want to win, but what do you think right now is happening with the market? And what do you think the market is pointing to, a Biden victory or a Trump victory? Let me know down below in the comments. The first debate is coming up in a few weeks. Maybe that will influence the odds and polls, but we'll definitely keep a close eye on it and we'll be sure to do election-esque videos coming rather soon. So you are going to be subscribed to my channel. Be sure that you do have that subscribe button clicked and that notification bell clicked as well because you don't want to miss any future uploads or videos. I post videos now almost every single day, all with your support, guys, so I greatly appreciate it. As always, I'm so thankful for all of you. So thank you very much. As a little side note, I know it's not related to my Webull portfolio, the portfolio that we take a look at it every episode but in robin hood i did receive another free stock another free stock and i i know i will be doing a another apple video coming very soon and it's going to be on my purchase i'm just waiting for some funds to settle here you can actually see in the messages you see the transfer history right here you can see it's coming guys it's coming transfer of 44 or 45 400 rather is on the way i purchased a few more shares today with the amount that they did let me use right away up to the thousand dollars so i purchased a few more shares but that's a side note totally off track having nothing to do with this episode but i will be covering it more in detail uh, but i also wanted to just quickly show you a, another free stock i received the first free stock i've received in a while and as always if you would like free stocks go ahead and use my link down below in the description and we can sign up the webull or robin hood depending on which brokers that you'd like but when you do use robin hood or webull rather you do get two free stocks all on me all free one valued up to $1,400 when you use my link down below and sign up with Webull. Someone took it upon themselves to sign up with one of my Robinhood links. I did get a free share of this stock called Cody. C-O-T-Y. Cody. Or Cody, whatever you want to call it. And so that is now in my account. I could sell it right now if I wanted to. But as you can see right now, it is valued right there at $3.53. $3 cents. so not bad. Free stock, another one there building up a little portfolio of free stocks. There's my free GE share that I received a long time ago. That was now at 639, so not bad for a free stock again. Uh, I did have two Fitbit stocks, one when I signed up for Robinhood and then one after a referral, but I have sold those since just to buy a fraction of other stocks. So that has been long sold. But at any rate, I do digress. Back to the Webull portfolio. We're gonna be taking a look at the profit and loss numbers as usual. So we have RF, RF, Still holding in the positive at 194 or 8.93% up. DGLY, it was on the way. It was on the way to a better number, but now it did tick down today, 42.46 or 46.73%. Levi now only down 70 cents or 2.68%. Viacom is now up 13.11 or 86.25%. OXLC down 5.12 or 12.85%. We're going to be looking at the charts here. So we have RF. Now, it was actually mostly green today with the rallying of the Dow. It was mostly green, but still that stubborn DGLY, stubborn DGLY. 
not following suit. All good though, I'm still holding on to it. But RF did go up today, 16 cents or 1.38%, a little bit action after hours. Pretty good, pretty good stuff. Five days, still maintaining in the green, as well as the one month. Six months now. Just barely, if you scrape off, edge off some of the pandemic, it would be in the green. You just take it off a little bit, like the five month chart would in fact be in the green if my math does serve me correctly. Year to date though does still remain in the red, one year in the red. DGLY, like I said, stubborn, but some action after hours, so if you include that, it's basically break even today. One day it was down, five days, still maintaining the green. One month, pretty much decisively, conclusively red for the month. Bad month for DGLY. Six months in the green, as we are still in that spike. Nowhere near under a dollar yet, let's hope. So $2 is the new $3. Year to date, one year, same story. Levi, Levi up 34 cents today, or two point, about 2.75%. Five days in the green, one month in the green. Six months, you just scrape off some of the pandemic, and this stock would be in the green officially for the that five month chart there. Great day for Viacom today. Viacom shot up 61 cents, 2.20%, and then more action after hours. Five days also great for Viacom, and the one month, fantastic for Viacom. Over 10% for the month. Six months, even more green. Very good. Year to date, does stay in the green though, or in the red rather. But great day for Viacom. We have OXLC, OXLC down six cents today, or 1.36%. Barely a little bit something after hours. Five days, nice uptrend there, one month, still showing a downtrend, six months as well, year to date, same story. But the stock that I want to look at in today's episode, great day for this stock today, followed the Dow, didn't go against the trend, is this stock... DraftKings, you've definitely probably heard of DraftKings. DraftKings made momentum when it went public last year. It went public. It was a very popular stock. People were all in on DraftKings with the exploding betting industry and states becoming more lax with their laws when it came to betting. And it's really a growing industry, something that is just going to continue to grow. And DraftKings does not pay a dividend, but great day today, and we'll talk about the news, what shot up the stock. Up over 8%, and then another percentage point after hours. Very good day today for DraftKings shareholders. Of course, if you want to make money with DraftKings, you're better off investing in the stock as opposed to actually betting on DraftKings. I did a video a while back talking about lottery. We'll be covering that more in the future. Gambling, etc. People obviously into that when we're talking about money. I'm not much of a gambler, but DraftKings does look like a nice stock to invest in. You can see over the six month chart here, this stock has gone up almost 150%, just the one month alone, over 21%. Now the theory here is that a lot of people are starting to dive into the world of money. So a lot of retail investors being added to Robinhood during this pandemic but then you also get people that are trying to make that money quickly and so you will get more betters and people looking towards brokerages like DraftKings and I'm sure there were plenty of accounts opened during the pandemic there wasn't a lot of sports going on in the beginning but especially now with sports coming back a lot of people betting so that's why it is still growing even during a recession you can almost call this a pandemic proof stock I mean, look at the growth it did during the pandemic. This was the onset of here. 16 bucks did go down. It never even went below 11 bucks. And ever since then, it's only been up and up and then a little bit of stabilization, but a great day today for DraftKings. Crazy stuff. So what caused the news today? What actually was the catalyst behind the green day today? Well, it's going to be Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, big announcement today. 
DraftKings announced on Wednesday morning that it had added NBA legend Michael Jordan as a special advisor to its board in exchange for an equity stake in the company. So Michael Jordan now owns a good chunk of DraftKings. I don't believe it's the majority stake by any means, but still a chunk nonetheless. So investors cheered the news ultimately, and it sent the stock up nearly 13% in pre-market trading. Let me know if you got in on DraftKings, if you happen to be trading it. Did you get in before or after? What happened there with DraftKings? What happened here? Well, Jordan will provide, quote, strategic and creative input to the board of directors on company strategy, product development, inclusion, equity, and belonging, marketing activities, and other key initiatives. In a statement, DraftKings said. So note the mention of inclusion in that list, as the NBA and WNBA continue to lead other pro sports leagues in encouraging its athletes to speak out on social issues. Of course, with the current scenario in the country, that is not a surprise. So DraftKings CEO Jason Robbins in a statement said that Jordan is, quote, among the most important figures in sports and culture who forever redefine the modern athlete and entrepreneur. The strategic counsel and business acumen Michael brings to our board is invaluable, and I am excited to have him join on our team. More history on the stock there. We'll take a look at another article. Why DraftKings stock jumped today. So what happened again? Rose 8% on Wednesday following the news that NBA Hall of Famer Michael Jordan agreed to serve as a special advisor. He's one of the biggest personalities in all of sports. We know that the former NBA superstars with his billion dollar partnership in Nike and controlling ownership interest in the NBA's Charlotte Hornets. So he'll use his sports and business experience to advise DraftKings' board on strategy, product development, and marketing. In return, he will receive an equity stake in DraftKings. It's not saying how much, though, that he is receiving. I guess this is public or private information. We know how much Nike was involved with. We know the revenue that DraftKings does bring. That's public information, but we do not know how much stake Michael Jordan got in the stock. But nonetheless, it did send these stocks soaring. And so that is why the stock is up today. I'd probably put money in it. I wouldn't put all my money in it, but I would probably add it to my portfolio. Net account value does stand at 164.88. Not much of a change from the last episode, but if you did enjoy this episode, if you got value out of it, be sure you do click that like button, smash it for me. And as always, if you want to see more videos on my channel, I post videos now every single day almost. Go ahead and click that big red subscribe button and that little notification bell as well. So you're notified every single time I make a new video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.